Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cover briefly the UX update uh, for this sprint. So in terms of the project of activity categories, um, we um, uh, worked on the on developing the two uh, most voted proposals uh, that we collected from the design sprint workshop with the whole UX team. Um, we were working the uh, prototypes in low fidelity for uh, the testing, so um, we make sure that we don't spend a lot of time uh, policing the final UI, and we get the test uh, done uh, pretty quick. So um, we have the two prototypes ready uh, that I will be demoing uh, in a minute. And in terms of the research plan, we built the test in user zoom. And we already launched a pilot test to see if everything is, everything is fine. Um, uh, this, we will be launching the final test uh, with um, model users and non-model users. Sorry, there is a mistake in the, in the slide. So yeah, now I'm gonna share my screen and show you the prototypes. The categories project, um, we have two approaches um, uh, gathered from the design um, sprint workshop with the UX team. Uh, in the first one, we are using a model um, very similar to what we are doing right now in the activity chooser, but we have some uh, slightly differences in here. So as you can see, we have the tabs um, uh, in a different uh, layout in an horizontal way, so it's more scalable. We can add more elements in here if needed, um, and we can fit uh, more elements. Um, we still have the favorites and recommended tabs, um, but we've added the new categories here. Um, so this is the categories proposal that was um, most voted also um, uh, through the entire UX team. Uh, but we will be also collecting feedback. And in here, you can see that we can change any um, any category to look in, into it in more detail. We can, well, the search will work in the same way. So if we uh, type anything, we will find all the, um, the results. Um, if we have some options to change the view in here in case that we want to um, see it in a different way and that will be everything for the um oh, sorry just one little thing that i forgot um is about um yeah going to the each activity information so we are keeping the same approach that we use uh, currently use um so you can uh, go into more detail for knowing more about the activity and then uh you can go back to where you were so that will be um, the um, um, model proposal uh, that we have. But then also we are developing a different proposal, um, which is more kind of a dialogue. So from this course page, we can click Add Activity, and we will see the dialogue um, opening up. So in here, we have the same information available, same functionality, but in a slightly different way. Um, just adapting to the design and the uh, format of the proposal. So we have uh, as well the search uh, functionality, which works in the same way. Um, we'll have the favorites and recommended um, tabs in here as well, so we can change tabs. And then we will have a list of all the different categories uh, that we have here with a little description each. Additionally, we will be able also to filter by categories. Uh, so if we want to show only the assessments, um, we will see that only the assessment um, uh, activities have been displayed in here. Uh, keeping, of course, the favorites and recommended big uh, tabs all the time visible because it is kind of the most used um, um, tabs uh, for our users. And that's kind of it. Um, well, in the same way that um, we have um, 
the ability to go uh, into more detailed information about each activity. Um, we have um, the same approach that um, we did with the other um, proposal. So basically, clicking into the info icon for each activity will work. And then, yeah, by closing the uh, dialogue, we go back to the same state. And I'll present today the research phase results of the activity categories or activity icons project. Um, we conducted 24 usability tests, a comparative test, um, evaluating the two different proposals crafted by the UX team during the design sprint workshop for the new activity categories project. Sorry, guys, if you uh, hear some noise, uh, there's something outside. <laughs> um, I apologize. So yeah, going back to um, the presentation, um, we engage with a diverse group of participants from various countries and backgrounds, including 10 non-model users and 14 uh, community users. The analysis of the test results is nearly complete. Uh, we brought up the feedback and notes analysis um, along with the affinity mapping of all this data. And the only thing left is to finalize the key findings report uh, in Miro that will be completed during this week. Next slide, please, Adrian. Thank you. So regarding the scope of the project, uh, we will start the development of the quick fix solution during this new increment with the UX work uh, already completed for the redesign of the activity icons, the creation of a new color palette for the categories, um, the high fidelity prototype in Figma. And in terms of the long term solution, uh, this is still in progress and we will share it in future showcases once it's completed. But you can get a sneak peek of the solution in the image below. Um, so, next slide, Adrian, please. Thank you. Um, so the research results uh, with a total of 35 community users in total. Uh, so the activity categories have been tested um, into uh, different projects with the activity cards and now uh, with this project with a total of 35 community users. And also we tested and we checked these uh, categories with several internal stakeholders. Um, and all these feedback um, and data collected from all the participants uh, have been analyzed and we saved the UX, the final UX proposal based on all these feedback collected. So as you can see on the screen, we have a very similar approach to what we currently have. So we keep assessment, collaboration, communication and resources, but we are introducing a new category called interactive learning. Well, this is the, the naming is still um, a work in progress, so we will be working with Julia to um, and make it perfect. Um, but this interactive learning category will uh, group like all the activities and third party planning activities that um, have a more interactive approach um, uh, than, for example, the resources. So if you go to the next slide, Adrian, please. Yeah, so the current color palette also presented some challenges uh, for users, and we worked on a new color palette, steering away from the red and green colors, and also being accessible for users with color vision differences. So the palette has been tested against the model gray 10 color um, to ensure it's compliant with the minimum color contrast requirement of 3.1 for graphical components. So we tested against this light uh, gray background. If you go to the next one, please, Adrian. In this slide, you can see an example of how users with different color perceptions can see the new color palette on the left side and how the current one uh, will look. So you can see the current one is a little bit um, more pale um, and the new one has more vivid colors. It's a little bit easier to differentiate between them. Um, and basically uh, getting away from these um, misleading meaning colors like green and red that we have here. 
And finally, if you move to the last slide, Adrian. Um, here, um, this is how the activity chooser will look with the quick solution applied. Sorry, it's a little bit small, but um, I hope you can see it properly. Um, so we are having new um, a new color palette and also new activity icons. Here on the right side of the screen, you can see a closer look, um, a close up of these icons. Um, the ones in uh, uh, black are the activity icons, and the other ones in in the blue color are the mime type icons that we are reintroducing again for the files to make it easier for users to distinguish between different type files. And yeah, that's it for me. Um, thanks everyone.